Welcome back to another episode of Patrick Draws. Today we're going to be drawing Harry Potter. So let's get into it. So I've got this image of Harry Potter I found on the internet and we are going to basically trace a few things. I'm going to pull the opacity down on him just a little bit so we can see our drawing a little better. And I'm going to grab a red brush tool and let's zoom in a little bit here. So when I look at this, the first thing I see is the head shape, which is basically an oval. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of draw that in here. And then this is usually how I draw real humans, is I'll draw a line this way and a line that way. And what that's doing is it's giving you a guide. So we're going straight down the center and straight across the middle. But the middle, we can give it a little bit of an arc. And this is giving us guideline to where to add the eyes, the nose, the mouth. When it's a straight on shot like this, we want to keep things straight down the center. So we know that the nose is here. And I've basically seen a triangle there for the nose. The mouth is basically just a line, a little curved line. The eyes are little circles here. And then they're big circles for his glasses. And then we know that the hair is up here. And the hair is basically a bunch of curved triangles. So we, I'm just going to add in some triangles here so we can get an idea of how the hair was built. So wherever I see a triangle, I'm just going to add in a triangle here. And here's a little one here, another one, whoop, another one there, another one there. So what these are showing us is, is where we need to add the hair. Now I know that we've got an arc here and an arc here, another arc here, and let's take now we want to go below the head, and we see that he's got a neck. So the neck is basically a rectangle or even a cylinder if I wanted to start getting a little more advanced. But I'm not going to go that far today. I'm just going to show the neck here would be a rectangle. And around that neck is almost like a snake. I mean, it's a scarf. But what we've got here is we've got a couple of arcs almost like we're drawing a donut around going around him and then that same scarf comes off this way so it's we've just got basically a couple of shapes going like that and then we're going to end up connecting those shapes with some curves and I see that the tie is basically a circle there I see a triangle here a little rectangle here another triangle right here and same thing for this another triangle here so I'm just literally looking for all the basic shapes that I can find uh, there's a little triangle there same thing with that same thing with that uh, and then down here what they've done is just some you know loose hand scribbles basically so that they don't have to draw the whole rest of the body so I'm just gonna do my own and it doesn't even have to match up with what they've done another triangle here I see another triangle here a lot of you know clothing can have a lot of triangles um, we don't want to forget his ears so I'm basically if you look at the ear here it's almost like a peanut shape so I'll draw a couple of peanuts for his ears there and then if we want to come over here to his buddy the owl uh, he's basically a circle of his own there now, if I were to draw my same lines here like that, his eyes aren't matching up with our center line. And that could be because his head is being tilted back, which would make your center line rise. So if the center line were to rise, we want to arc it. And then we can throw the center line coming down like that. And that's going to that's gonna help us envision his, ha his head is, it is a circle, but it's really a sphere. And it's like a ball that you can turn around and the more you draw the, the easier this will get to visualize but that's why these lines always help me out so we've got a basic basic triangle there for the nose uh, we've got a couple of circles here another circle here and these eyebrows are basically triangles here I'm just gonna throw some 
some triangles up here. Triangle, 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 triangle. We've got a little bit of a half a circle there. And then a bunch of little triangles here, but I'm just gonna zigzag it. Zigzag, and this is kind of fun to do, and they don't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be the same amount of lines that they've done. And we're gonna come back over here and do the same thing event when we get into our details here. And then the feet here, all right, now I've got a smaller brush size, so I'm just gonna add a rectangle there, triangle here, triangle here, triangle here, and then it's rectangles should get us most of the way there for these toes, a little arch there. So if I pull back out and I look at this drawing without my uh, original drawing here, let's take a look at that. You can see it's it's coming together. You can see what it is. It's obviously not a finished drawing, but this is how we get started. So I'm going to use this as as well as the original drawing here. Let me pull the opacity down about there. And I'm going to switch layers and let's go ahead and draw our own version right next to it. But what we really have here is uh, two circles or two ovals right next to each other. So I'm going to try and start to do that myself here. So we've got a circle there for the owl. Next to it, we've got an oval. And let's go ahead and draw in our guidelines on both of the faces. And you can see that the owl's guideline is kind of cockeyed and because he's got his head at a tilt. And now I'm just going to basically start going in and drawing some of these basic shapes. So we've got a little rectangle here for the neck. Coming over the neck we've got that donut. So almost almost like a hot dog here as we can use that shape. Then that's going to come out with our rectangle here, come down our little triangle here, and let's start adding in the v-neck with a couple of, basically we're not drawing a full triangle, I'm just drawing a couple of lines of the triangle. And we've got a couple of triangles over here. And then on this shoulder, we've got this triangle here, another triangle here, another triangle here. And these are gonna be part of the coat. Let's go ahead and add in his eyes. So we know the pupils need to go right about here on that line, and then the glasses are circles going right around those. And let's see. I'm going to add in that triangle for the nose, and then a little smile there. The peanut ears, let's go ahead and add those in. And you can see that the top of the ear starts at this line. So that's a good little trick to remember. And let's go do the hair. We've got a couple of triangles here we want to add in. And then we know that the hair is coming off of the top of the head, above the head here. It's not sitting right on the head. It's coming off of where the skull would be on Harry Potter here. And so that's going to give us it's going to give us some basic thing to start with for the hair here. Uh let's see here. I'm going to add in a line here for the jacket right there. Uh we don't want to forget about the tie, so let's add in our little circle there, a couple of lines there. Um, let's go ahead and add in some of these jacket lines. So we've just got like a swoosh that comes out of here, it comes down, and and then another one comes out of here, and one, two, so one, two, a couple of jacket swooshes there, and what I'm going to go ahead and do is now is do another swoosh here. So it's something like that, and I grab my eraser and I'll just erase the line that went beyond that swoosh, and that's kind of going to be the end of my drawing. 
And let's go ahead and add some detail for the owl here. So the eyes, the pupils are going to go right on this line here. And we want to keep them kind of tight together because this circle, this eye, is touching right here on the center line, whereas his glasses are not. There's some space in between. So di the different ways that you place circles on your character can make them look different. And let's add in a little triangle nose, a couple of triangles here uh, for the ears, the eyebrows. Let's add in this. I'm going to add this as a shape here. So this I'm going to add in. Basically, it's the it's a half a circle and a triangle. That's what we're adding in. Uh, we know that the leg here. It needs to come, his foot is going to basically be there, coming up, and then joining into the body. And then the same thing over here. Uh, we're going to have that foot come down, and something like that. So I'm not getting too much into the detail just yet. I'm going to add that triangle there for the hair, triangle for the hair. But I do want to get my proportions and everything figured out before I start going into my clean drawing, which I think I'm about ready to do that. So let's go ahead and create a new layer. And I'm going to call this my cleanup. And I'm going to pull back on the red that I just layer that I've just created. And I'm going to use that as a guide and I'm also going to use the original as a guide and clean this drawing up a little bit. So you can see that my chin and his chin are different. And so I'm going to try and mimic that a little bit right now, but using the same line as a guide. So I'm going to come down from the bottom of the ear, curve over and curve up. And I'm still using this as a guide, but now we're making his jaw a little bit stronger. And then Let's go ahead and add the ears in, those peanuts that we drew earlier. Let's go ahead and add in his pupils and the eyeglasses. And then his nose, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something, something like that with a couple of lines there and using our triangle as a guide. And then the mouth, bottom lip, cheek, those are all just little little lines here. Uh, let's go ahead and draw some of the hair. So instead of perfect triangles, I'm going to use our red triangles as a guide and kind of give them and kind of give them some some of their own shape there. And so for the hair, I'm just going to do some arcs here. And these arcs are going to get get us pretty close to where we need to be with his hair. So we've got his hair triangle down here. I'm just going to add a little more. Uh, we're going to come down here and then add a little hair coming this way. So now I can come back with my eraser and erase some of these lines that are going over the ear. So we, the hair is covering up the ear. So that's why I'm doing that. Uh, let's go ahead and add some detail to the ears and eyebrows. Let's just draw in some eyebrows here. Don't want to forget his lightning bolt. So let's do that. And let's go ahead and add in his neck, put an arc. And now this is where you can have some fun with this, the shape of this um, scarf. And then the scarf, ha it has a line here, but it's, the line's being shown by shadow. But it's being shown by doing these squiggles here. So I'm going to just do something similar here 
with the with the lines on the scarf and that's going to help us show a little bit of this fold in the scarf and then the scarf is going to come out this way and it's going to curve down and then we've got the scarf kind of folds over on itself so let's just show some of that and add some of these detail arcs something like that uh, let's go ahead and add in the tie the shirt uh, he's got these white triangles here for his collar so I'll add those in let's add in some detail lines here and a line there so let's just get his jacket in here with some of these some of these curved lines and so you see these triangles I can use these as a guide for doing the jacket and now I'm getting to where I can actually put in our little swoosh here so I'm gonna do it a little bit slower than I did the first time and now I'm just gonna come back with my eraser and clean up some of that around the swoosh okay back to my brush clean that up okay now uh, I'm looking at Harry Potter here I need some detail a couple of lines going through the hair here connect the hair there uh, let's see I think we are ready to go over to the owl. So if you see the owl's hair, it's it's all kind of jaggedy. So we can just do something like that. Using our red line as a guide, we just try and zigzag on that line. And then we come up here for the arm and a couple of zigzags for the feathers. Come back here. And this is just zigzag, zigzag, all the way on these legs. So I'm going to zoom in here a little bit for the feet. You know, this is really just two toes coming out with some nails. But I'm going to have to go in and clean this up a little bit, so let's do that. Now, when I draw my toes, we can see the nails. Okay. Uh, let's put a little toe there and uh, now I'm not seeing the back leg behind his scarf on my drawing And so it's not a perfect copy of what we're looking at, but that's okay because we can tell that it's an owl and Let's take a look here. We got to let's go ahead and add his eyes in and now I can see That his eye here is being covered up by the eyebrow So let's just do this Put in his pupils right on the line there and then the triangle nose and let me make sure I connect my lines so that when I go to color this it will color quickly and then on the body here we've just got some squiggles so I'm just going to do these and you know doing my own not doing a perfect copy and that's going to give us a little bit of detail and I'm going to grab my eraser I'm going to add a little bit of highlight to the eye pupils just by erasing some of that line out something like that and he's got them too so I'm gonna go ahead and do that Oop. grab my eraser knock a little bit of his pupil out clean let me clean clean these up a little bit alright something like that something like that alright mix a little better and we've got to finish the owl on this side so a little squiggle that way and i think we're getting there uh now at this point i'm just looking to see what anything i'm missing or anything that doesn't look quite right i'm gonna clean up a few things so now i want to actually hide my red drawing 
and pull up the original and let's compare the two. And at this point, I also want to clean, I also want to color this drawing. So let's just clean things up here a little bit and grab, okay, so let's grab our paint bucket and I'm going to start coloring some things in. So I'm going to grab my paint bucket tool and just start stealing some of his colors. And now I will fill in my own Harry Potter here. And then I'm going to grab a color. Let me grab my own brown. And we'll darken it up just a little bit. There. So, oh, looks like I forgot to draw in his hair down here. So let me just switch back to black and I'll rough in a couple of things, a couple of things here so that I've got his hair and that I forgot to add and then color that in. Let's grab a red here for the scarf and just I'm going to fill in the alternating colors there. I'm going to use the same color for his tie and maybe even that portion of his jacket. And let's see here. Well, let's grab another color from his sweater and let's fill that in. Okay. Okay, let's grab another color for his scarf here and let's just quickly fill this in. And then his jacket is like, is like a dark gray, so let's just grab some dark gray here, add that in. Okay, I'm going to just switch my brush and fill some of these white gaps in. Let's grab a, our own color for the owl and just fill him in real quick here. And let me grab some brown for the, for the owl's eyebrows. And go ahead and color in his shirt. Let's grab this yellow again for the feet. Okay, so I'm just going to clean the colorings of this up really quick here. And I need to remember to fill in the eyes with white, otherwise, uh, anything that's white, uh, I need to fill in basically. And the reason for that is when I goes time to put in a background on my drawing, I will not have the white areas be showing through. So I actually think I left this area right here white. So let's show what happens if I, if I were to fill my background with, like, say, blue. And we zoom in here, we can see that there's some things here that I didn't color. So this, this is when you're coloring, this is a way to go in and clean up. Oh, you know what I noticed? His eyes are not all white, and that's why my guy is looking kind of weird, like super surprised. And I forgot to draw in his glasses, so let's just do that right now. I'm just going to draw in the glasses and then I want to make this color instead of white on his eyes I want to make that a color similar to the skin color but maybe a little bit darker so let's try that so I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlights here on the glasses like they've got and I think that's pretty good so there's my version of Harry Potter uh, based off of another artist version of Harry Potter and there's nothing wrong with looking at other people's art to make your own art. That's how I learned to draw, is by looking at other artists' drawings, especially comic books, and mimicking and trying to recreate their style, and you'll eventually come up with your own style the more you draw and the more you create. If you have an image you want me to draw, just leave your suggestion in the comments below. This has been another episode of Patrick Draws. Thanks for watching and see you next time.